So I just got done flying the DJI Avada and I had a great time like always. Just got done ripping around the yard, testing out the ND filters, and I don't think they're gonna disappoint. But they are $79 and that's a little steep. So we're gonna talk about whether they're worth it or not and who they're worth it for. So let's get into it. All right, so I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's subscribed to this channel. It's been growing super, super fast and I can't say thank you enough. So without further ado, let's get into the review. In my opinion, the DJI ND filters are only worth the money if you want the best possible looking footage. Realistically, if you're gonna be using the shutter speed in auto and you're not gonna make any adjustments manually with the DJI Avada, you'll be perfectly fine without the ND filters because you have the shutter speed to rely on. Now that being said, relying on your shutter speed only takes you so far. If you're somebody that wants some motion blur in all your videos, then you're gonna need an ND filter. Because without an ND filter, in brighter situations, lowering your shutter speed is gonna make your video too overexposed. All right, so I'm gonna show you two DJI Avada videos. The only difference between these two videos are the ND filters. One's gonna have an ND filter and the other one's not. The settings are set to manual, the shutter speed is set to 200. Let's see if you can tell the difference. So there you have it. The DJI Avada ND filters are kind of like sunglasses for your drone. It allows you to retain the highlights and the shadows. It also allows you to retain the motion blur. Motion blur is important if you want more cinematic looking videos. Just keep in mind that the shutter speed was locked in this scenario. If you were having a variable shutter speed on auto, they would probably look similar to having an ND filter. The only thing is you'll be losing the motion blur. If the motion blur isn't important to you, the DJI Avada ND filters are just not worth it. So hopefully that'll save you some money. But if you do want the DJI ND filters and you want to save money and have your cake and eat it too, Freewell makes an ND filter that's just as good in my opinion and it'll save you a few bucks. They're $49 instead of $79. So there you have it. That's my review of the DJI Avada ND filters. I think they're totally worth it if you want that extra cinematic-y looking footage and that motion blur. But if you're just gonna put your drone in auto and you think that that looks just as good, then you're not gonna have any problem without using an ND filter. And if you do want an ND filter and to save some money, look in the free well. I think you'll be happy with those ND filters. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have more videos like this in the future and I look forward to seeing you in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next video.